Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this cool uh, text effect using Red Giant Universe in Adobe After Effects. So to create this, you will need the plugin Red Giant Universe. So I already have Adobe After Effects open, and we're going to start by creating a new composition. And I'm just going to rename this text effect. And we'll set it at 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to make this a 5 second duration. And we'll just keep the background color black and click OK. The next thing we need to do is create a background layer. So we're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. I'm just going to rename this BG. And I'm going to click the color here and change the background layer to a black layer. Now we're ready to add our text layer. So we're going to go come up here to the text toolbar I'm going to select my text tool and go ahead and click anywhere in the composition. And I'm just going to type in space. And I'm going to go back to my selection tool so I can recenter the text. And over here on the right hand side, we have our character settings. If you don't see that on the right hand side, you just go up to your window and you can see that there's a check mark next to the character settings. So just make sure there's a check mark there. And I'm going to bring up the font size a little bit. So I'm going to reset it at 250. And right now I'm just going to leave the colors as is. And I'm going to go up here to effects and presets. Again, if you don't see effects and presets over here, just go to your window and make sure effects and presets is selected. So I'm just going to type in quantum. That is the plugin that we're going to be using by Red Giant Universe. And you can see it's under the Universe Glow settings. And I'm just going to drag that into the text layer. So as you can see, it creates a cool glow effect for your text. And we're going to change a couple settings here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is change our blend mode to add. And the next thing we're going to do is change the opacity and bring this down to 60. And if you want a little more glow intensity, you can bring it up a little bit. And I think I'm going to actually make the font size a little bit bigger. I'm going to bring this up to 275. So the next thing we're going to do is just add some texture to the background. So we're going to go to our background layer. And I'm going to go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. And I'm just going to change the bottom color to like a dark purple. And you can also do like a radial ramp um, and keep the center color of purple. But for right now, I'm just going to do linear ramp. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some stars in the background. So I'm going to go to layer new, solid. And I'm going to click on the color and I'm going to change this to like a light pink color. And then just make sure that layer is in between the text layer and the background layer. And then we're going to go to effects and presets and I'm going to type in CC ball action. And I'm just going to click and drag that into our color layer that we just created. And over here on the left hand side, you can see there's the settings, so you can drag the scatter up, but I'm just going to type in 1024. And under ball size, I'm going to change that to 12. And then I'm going to add a glow to the stars, so I'm just going to go back over here to effects and presets and just type in glow. And I'm going to drag that into the stars layer. Okay, so that's looking pretty good so far. So the last thing we're going to do is just add an animation at about three seconds. So 
I'm going to take my time ruler and just drag this about halfway through here, a little towards the end. And with just leave the time ruler right there. And under effects and presets, we're going to go to animation presets under text. And under scale, we're going to select the zoom forward and you're just going to drag that zoom forward into your space text layer. And now, as you can see, it's going to animate the text at the end of the time graph. And if you do want to change some of the settings on your glow, you can change the streak length so you can bring it up uh, the streak length or you can bring it down. I'm going to leave it at 20. <clears throat> and then you can change your glow intensity length. So you can kind of play around with the settings to get the effect that you want. But I'm just going to keep this tutorial short and simple, just show you how this effect looks and add a little animation to it. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. The last thing we're going to do is just export this. So I want to go to File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder, which is what I usually use is the Media Encoder. And then I usually use the H.264 setting. But as you can see in the drop down, there's a bunch of different settings you can choose from. And then I go ahead and hit play to render the footage. Thank you so much for watching.